Welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, I gotta show you something. Not this. You can't see what this is. Maybe I'll show you a little sneak peek. That's how you get them. I'm gonna show you something <sighs> that hurts my heart. But let me show you. All right, I'm gonna show you. Ready? Mmm. This is why I haven't posted no more videos. Push the quarter panels forward. The doors won't close right. And I went into another car. I already put it back on stock suspension. So no more airbags for it. Took out the side markers here. How bad the trunk lifted up and this quarter panel push forward you can see how it's pushed like this when i went to put the stock suspension on this one i couldn't take off any of the control arm bolts or anything like that i had to really force it and i think it was bent because when i put the wheel back on it was pushed at least two inches forward here towards the wall and then it's rubbing towards the back here so the frame is probably definitely bent and then yeah so the insurance came and the car is totaled so now i have another project coming up so if anybody needs any bags or parts for a 2014 challenger rt let me know i have a bunch of things that i already took off if you need bags compressors whatever and yeah let's explain the story what happened All right, guys, it's nighttime now. Um, I'm doing a video here and I kind of sort of forgot about pulling this up. So let's talk about the accident and what happened and what's gonna go on forward. So I was in traffic the uh, day before New Year's and uh, there was this guy driving crazy around me. I wasn't really paying attention to him. Whatever he had gotten behind me ended up running into me. And then I hit another car in front of me. I went under that car. That car didn't get that messed up, but the guy that hit me from behind, he didn't press the brakes at all and completely slammed into me. Um, yes, the car is totaled. So just waiting now on insurance and stuff. You guys know how that works. Moving forward, um, I'm not very like, decisive on what kind of car I want next because I, I just want to do something different and to change it up meaning um, how do I say like I haven't so the car I showed you guys earlier in the video that is a Mini Cooper GP 
and it was an old car I used to have, but I just repurchased it from, I just purchased it from someone that bought it from the old owner I sold it to, kind of confusing, but I bought it from him, and the car's almost done, it just needs to get wrapped now, I was doing a, this, just maintenance on it, putting new supercharger pulley, stuff like that, so I was already good with that, I don't need two low cars, so I'm kind of thinking, maybe, a suburban Tahoe, some kind of truck, something that wait, doesn't waste too much gas. I don't, I, I don't want diesel. I really don't want diesel. But um, and I know diesel is great, but I rather just something not so crazy on gas. And you know, start doing adventure vlogs and traveling in it because I am also making a big purchase in two months that I have been saving my money up for. A lot of people know what it is. So that that's coming soon too, is to travel, it's something huge. So if you guess that, put it down in the comments below what you think it is. So let me know what you guys think. I was also thinking S2K, but here in Miami, those things are pretty scary to own. Just Honda itself, people steal them and stuff like that. So I just don't wanna put my money and effort and so much into a car and then it get taken and you know how that goes. I don't. I don't need that stress right now. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out. And I'll see you next time. Peace.